Okay, this is Ralph Medisa and JTV. We are wrapping up the 8th Annual North Providence Boys and Girls Club Alumni Association Golf Tournament here at Triggs Memorial Golf Course with Don Placido. Don, how'd you make out today? As in golfing? Well, just uh, you know, no, the overall, overall, overall experience. Overall, I don't golf. I mean, uh, second of all, I think uh, I had a great experience with everyone uh, here today. I had a great, great joy in seeing many of the former club members who continue to come out and support this tournament for the this being the eighth one. I wanted to win a couple of raffle prizes, one which I gave away, the other one which is uh, which I'll keep. Uh, but I, overall, for me to be able to get out and uh, though I'm somewhat confined to home now, to be able to come out once a year and 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 see these guys that come back and support the club as as you and as the gentleman that's behind the camera. It gives me some of the most um, some of the most precious memories that I'll ever have in my entire life, and that I continue to have. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to get out as much as I used to, but for me to be able to be here and see the love that these guys have come back to give the North Providence Boys and Girls Club for me is the ultimate, ultimate, most awesome thing that happened, and that does happen in my life, and it's an honor for me to be here. Now, Don, let me ask you, now bring us up to speed. Now, you were the director for how many years? Can you just bring us back a little uh, bit, Don? Actually, I was the uh, first program director at the North Providence Club, which commenced in March of, two, uh, March of 1968, and incidentally, in March of 2008, we will celebrate our 40th year of that club's opening in North Providence. And then in 1973, I, after a short sabbatical at the Oneville Boys and Girls Club, I came back and became director for that club, which I remained there until about 2000. And after that, I moved to some uh, some position with the position at the Central Service Office. And then, fortunately, later my health is uh, put me to a point where I'm no longer involved, but I am mentally involved. So, at the club, probably 27 years, I suppose, if that's the math. Ma 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 my mathematics are correct. Now, can you just talk about some of the people that helped you along the way who was just as involved as you were at the... Oh, certainly. There were many, many people who were still involved. And some of the... Uh, the certainly in the mo the one that me makes means the most to me is the person who really started the club in North Province, the club's first director, Jim Kelly. And he is still, still with us. And... Uh, he was actually my mentor in many, many ways. I learned a lot from him. But there are many volunteers who came in on the scene from the beginning. Uh, your dad was one. Uh, there was many, many others. And some of the original staff, like Ernie Dinancourt and Peter Icabucci, who are still serving that club in many ways. And countless number of volunteers from working within the club and working the soccer league. Too many to mention names that I might be able to leave somebody out. I don't want to do that. But there are many, many people. And if I had to put the numbers over the last 40 years, it is well close to 200 or more people. Mm -hmm. And some of them are here at the golf tournament today. Now, how, what would you, um, how would you uh, describe the situation of the club as it is today? Well, certainly there have been many changes in uh, the manner in which children and teens participate in activities. Forty years ago there were simple games, simple technology, simple things to do, but forty years later we're in a whole new environment and the clubs, all the clubs including the North Province Club, has to move with the times and they've done a successful job with that. There were games that we played in the games room in the gymnasium 40 years ago that don't work any longer. So the club itself has moved up to 2006 and has to deal with the population change, the cultural changes in the, in the, in the town, as well as the many other changes that take place uh, within the, um, the, the family structures that are in the, in the community of North Providence. And with that comes many more needs, both uh, especially uh, needs for uh, children who have uh, financial needs, and also there is a new program called Kids Cafe, which every day is feeding eligible children, uh, giving them a great meal around supper time when they normally wouldn't have one. And if you remember going back 40 years, 35 years ago, a lot of kids only snack or the only 
their only supper was something from the vending machine because they were there from three in the afternoon till nine at night. Now those kids are getting fed well. So the clubs have made changes into 2006 very well, and I'm very glad to see that happen. Now, with everything that uh, the Alumni Association has done with the money raising and everything like that, how would you like to see it best spent in the future, Don? Well, the club itself, the North Providence Club has and always will need, need something. If, uh, if it isn't repairs, the club is now getting to be 40 years old, the building is, and certainly there are going to be repairs that are going to be necessary uh, outside and inside. Maybe the boy, the North Providence Boys and Girls Club Alumni Association will know what those needs are, I'm sure will help us improve some of the conditions of the building. And secondly, one of the things, and I want to put this actually first, is the human needs of the kids in that community. An opportunity for kids to participate in a lot of activities that can't normally afford it, and many other things that can improve their social skills, as well as all their athletic skills and campus ships scholarships, whatever they may be. I always will believe, and I'll never change my mind, it's the human service needs that are most important. There are many kids who needed it in 1968, and there are equally, if not more, that now need them in 2006. And the association is playing a major role in helping those kids in many different ways. And that, I'm very proud of the association for what they do. They've never, never lost, never lost, the human services that were given to them, they're now giving it back. And that, for that reason, I'm proud of every one of them. Well, I know no one has given back as much as you, Don, and hopefully someone else out there will, will step up and, and give most of their life like, like you did to the Boys Club, Don. And, um, you, know, you know, we look forward to the next person stepping up. We look forward to the next generation really taking over for the kids of North Providence. And they will be. There will be a change. There will be a continuing leadership in that club. I'm sure for as many years as that club exists. I thank God every day that He gives me every day, and and secondly that He gives me the opportunity every year to at least get here and uh, be part of this association. So what I do is I stay focused and I work hard so I can be at the next one. And more importantly, more importantly, I said it the last time. I absolutely look forward. If there's anything I look forward to in my life, is to say, back to you guys. <laughs> that means more to me in many ways. Almost, that means more to me than you can ever imagine. I sometimes, I sit home, I sit home and I just say, back to you guys. It's just so embedded in my mind because I gotta say, it, back to you guys. It just, it's, it'll always be the most outstanding, outstanding phrase I've ever heard. Nobody, nobody. I think there's been many great phrases that were written over the years by many talented people. But back to you guys, that just rings with the most. <laughs> Spirit I cut in my soul. Well done. Uh, we really appreciate you being on the show again. And we really appreciate you coming to the tournament. Yep. We look forward to seeing you every year. Absolutely. And for, for what you did in, in the past, we thank you again. And uh, you're wonderful, Don. You're great. Right, you and we really too. appreciate it. Thank you, Ron. And we can see it on the count of three. You ready? One, yeah. two, three. Back, Back to, to you guys, guys on GTV. <laughs> GTV. Thank great. you, Don. I appreciate it. Good job, you, man. Now. Welcome to JTV. We're at the third annual Torch Run fundraiser at Manhattan Cafe, North Providence. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Matt Connell. We're here and uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. Hopefully you'll stay tuned. Thank you very much. Back to you guys, JTV. Hi, welcome back to JTV. I'm Matt